One of the common issues that presenters face is what I call as a creative block. Ideas just don't flow. One of the techniques that is recommended to get your mind flowing is something called as free writing. The technique goes like this. You take a blank sheet of paper, write the topic of your presentation at the top, then set the timer for 20 minutes and then start writing. Write whatever that comes to your mind about the topic for the next 20 minutes. The idea is not to stop at all. It doesn't matter what you get in your mind, what you don't get. If you are not able to get any idea, it doesn't matter. Just keep writing saying that I am not able to get any idea. But keep the pen flowing. That way you will keep having ideas generated constantly and before you know your mind gets into the groove and you start getting useful ideas which then keep flowing beautifully from that point forward. I have seen that this technique works extremely well especially when I feel that the ideas are just not coming because either there is a major deadline pressure or that I am feeling a little off that day or what, whatever could be the reason. I find free writing to be a very powerful tool. Now ever since I came across ChatGPT, I am using this particular technique in a very different way and in a very powerful way as well. This technique is what I call as free thinking. Now one of the limitations of free writing is you cannot really write as fast as your thoughts because sometimes when you are in the groove, the thoughts just keep flowing very fast. Now you cannot really catch up with that pace and therefore you tend to lose some of the ideas. Now the idea I am about to share with you overcomes that limitation and helps you think freely. Now the fundamental idea of free thinking is very much similar as free writing but then this one uses the power of the system. Here is the first step for free thinking. You go to a word document. And then go to this option here in the home tab called as dictate. You click on that option and that opens up this small little tool. Now you can see that whatever that I am talking is now getting transcribed by the tool. And this is a very important thing because this tool allows me to think freely without actually having to worry too much about the structure, the grammar the look and feel of my sentences, nothing. I just can close my eyes and start writing whatever that comes to my mind. I just can keep thinking and start dictating and the ideas just flow. Now you can see that I am doing that as we speak just to demonstrate to you how the concept of free thinking works. You can see that the text here doesn't have any structure. There are no full stops, no commas, no nothing. I am just saying whatever that comes to my mind as if I am talking to myself. I keep doing this for a certain amount of time. Usually the way that I do is to do a focus free thinking session for around 10 minutes. I try to capture whatever that comes to my mind around a topic and then I stop the transcribing session. So now I am going to do it. That's it. Now at the face of it, this might seem like a lot of gibberish. There is so much text, there is no punctuation. It's not very easy to understand for a normal person. But then ChatGPT is different. We are going to use ChatGPT to make sense of whatever that we have just talked without any structure, without any punctuation, without any grammar. And then ask ChatGPT to make sense of this mass of text. So. Let us go here, copy the whole thing, press Ctrl C to copy, which is a shortcut. And let us go to chat GPT and give a simple prompt, which is, I am going to give you a paragraph of text. I want you to rewrite the information for clarity. Divide the content into meaningful sections where applicable. If there is a list, present the list as bullet points. Now hold shift and enter for a new line and then in the inverted commas, I'm just going to 
paste whatever that I had written by using control V and then close the inverted commas and then say enter. That's it. Now this is rewritten for clarity. It says that this tool transcribes everything I say in real time. Here is why it is powerful benefits of the tool and you have freedom of thought and some explanation for that streamlined idea capture and the explanation for that and demonstration of rethinking is the topic and then it says what exactly it is how I use it is given as three bullet points and it has come to a conclusion this process helps me brainstorm ideas effectively without overthinking now if you read this information you will understand this very clearly very easily for example Freedom of thought is the subtitle given. It says, I can think freely without worrying about structure, grammar, or how my sentences look. And then the next topic is streamlined idea capture. By simply closing my eyes and speaking, I let my ideas flow naturally without interruptions. Can you see, these are all the thoughts that I had in my mind. And as if ChatGPT has read my mind, it has captured all that information so beautifully. Now, this is a technique that can be a game changer, especially when you want to create presentations. See, there are times that the subject that you are creating presentation for is something known only to you. If there is a presentation that is of common interest or something that is available publicly, then there is a chance that you would be able to get some information about it through ChatGPT, Perplexity or through Google. But then if the information you are about to deliver is completely your own, then you can't use any of those tools. During such times, this very simple idea of free thinking can really set you free, can really help you think beautifully. All you require is a Word document, start transcribing your free thinking, talk whatever that comes to your mind for 10 minutes and you'll be actually amazed at the clarity of your thought at the end of the 10 minute session. Then you copy the entire text, put it inside ChatGPT and give the prompt that I showed you. All you're asking is for ChatGPT to make sense of the information by rewriting it for clarity, divide it into logical sections and then wherever there is a list to present it as bullet points. Now, when you do that, you will get this kind of a stunning result and that can really help you organize your information. I'll see you in the next video.